Prince of Sussex has already made a powerfully symbolic gesture. On the day of her wedding, and to the surprise of her husband-to-be, she had Commonwealth flowers woven into the fabric of her veil. Today, Buckingham Palace has just received a special delivery. Here in the South Drawing Room, the most famous dress in the world is being unwrapped and arranged for display by conservators from the Royal Collection. It's a very privileged position to be able to handle and look after these objects with my team. It's fairly unique as well, I would say. You know, conservation is one of those jobs in which you're sort of suddenly called upon to do extraordinary things. And it's always an adventure, especially when it's a dress as beautiful as this. Never before has it been seen in such intimate detail. The dress and veil will be the star attractions in a new royal exhibition. Hopefully it will bring back some wonderful memories. But before all this goes on public display, a special reunion is about to take place. Hello. How are you? Very well, thank you. Fantastic. Is it as beautiful as you remember? My goodness, it's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely astonishing. All the embroidery all the way around. And the way it compares to your simple design on the dress as well. Thank you. Has it been fun working on this? So much fun. It's just been a dream, actually. Oh, great. It's quite exciting. <laughs> I think probably every girl's dream, but... It's nice <laughs> to see it again. It's beautiful. The silk veil is 16 feet long, and the elaborate floral decoration took 500 hours to embroider. Each flower represents one of the 53 nations of the Commonwealth. I'm sure they told you the thinking behind for me, including some sort of representation of all 53 of the Commonwealth countries, which yeah. was key. And I had originally said to Claire Waite Keller, the designer, how can we incorporate that? Would it be the state flower, country flower of each place? And it was her idea to do wildflowers, which I think ended up being a really beautiful way to embody the feeling yeah. of it. Particularly, I think the way they've worked up in three mm. dimensions and you've got these beautiful Australian. embroidered threads up. Yeah, the Australian um, wattle. wattle like yes. That. And, and no specific flower repeats itself. I know that was part of how they had put everything together, yeah, but I hope when, when people come, they can find their flower. <laughs> <from> their <laughs> Spend country. hours looking yes, at exactly. it, I'm sure. It's true, because you have Australia, India, I mean, there's so many different beautiful features there. But I think also with um, Harry's role as youth ambassador for the Commonwealth, it was so important for us to... Yeah have the spirit of inclusivity in our wedding. It's a very touching gesture, I think, oh. to have them with you. Oh, it's a day, an important day for all those countries. Mm -hmm. and I stuck in a couple flowers that were important to me as well, personally, yes. but there is a California poppy in there, which has nothing to do with the Commonwealth, but it has it's something to do from. with you, though. Yes, so that it is, it's ours, right? Yeah. It really feels very like much it's so. all And the composition us. feels very natural, which I think is important. Oh, thank you. That. Yes, well, that was all their craftsmanship. They did a beautiful job. And you see how some of it's raised as well. Yeah. The applique that she put on there, so it has some dimension. It was really special because when it caught the light, you could see it was such fine detail. Yeah. But because of how much texture was in it, it really... How long did you spend organizing this composition with Claire? Was it very much kind of... Do you know, we had uh, two or three meetings talking about sketches and different ideas of how this could really come to life. Mm. Um, we knew we wanted it to be very delicate, but then after that point, I just said I trust her implicitly with what she did, and I didn't see it really until the morning of. So this is my first time seeing wow. the veil like and this. And what did it feel like putting it on and wearing it? Um, it's a pretty magical day. I bet it was. Yeah, it was very really special. special.
It is Claire White Keller for Givenchy, an exquisitely cut, minimal and traditional dress with a splendid veil.